Greetings, one and all. In this episode of NHL News, we are here to talk about this man here, Connor McDavid. What about Connor McDavid? He has just been named the Edmonton Oilers' next captain for this season. The 19-year-old Connor McDavid is now the 15th captain in Edmonton Oilers' history. And also, what makes this such a monumental occasion is he is now known as the youngest person in NHL history to be named a captain of an NHL team. He was named captain at 19 years old and 266 days old. Now, he's younger than the previous holder, Gabriel Landeskog of the Colorado Avalanche, who was 19 years, 286 days old. So he's 20 days younger than Landeskog was when he was named captain. And Landeskog was initially the holder before uh, McDavid came in. And he surpassed Sidney Crosby, who was 11 days older than Landis Cog when he was named captain of the Pittsburgh Penguins. So, I mean, the names that are up there, there are some pretty prestigious names up there. Landis Cog has played very well in the league since he came in. Crosby, of course, he's known as basically the best player in, in our generation at the moment, or one of them. So, I mean, Conor McDavid, he's in some big, big shoes. He's got some big shoes to fill. Now, the Edmonton Oilers also said that Milan Lucic, Jordan Eberle, and Ryan Nugent Hopkins have been named the alternate captains. The Edmonton Oilers did not have a captain last year, so they're, they're deciding that Conor McDavid, the first pick of the 2015 draft, meant to, be, meant to be generational talent, franchise player, he's going to be the captain and the youngest in NHL history, which which is crazy. I, I I think McDavid earned it. I think McDavid deserves it. I mean, there's a lot of there's a lot of controversy about all oh, whether they deserve to have the captaincy at 19 years old. Oh, he didn't even play a full season. He hasn't played a full season in the NHL. He had 48 points in 45 games as a rookie last season. 16 goals and 32 assists. Now he missed two months of the season with a fractured collarbone. He can't help that, you know. Like if he hadn't got the injury, he probably could have been a point per game player. I mean, there's a lot of speculation on how well Conor McDavid could have done if he did play the whole season. I mean, I think it makes perfect sense. It makes perfect sense that they've made Conor McDavid the leader. I mean, none of the other players on the team have really got the same sort of caliber as Conor McDavid. I, don't, I mean, I'm not one of those people that likes to, to fanboy over Conor McDavid too much. I think he is just a player. He isn't some sort of godly force. But I think when it comes to the captaincy of the team, I think he deserves it. I think... They're, they're wanting to try and create a new image in Edmonton, a team that can come back to the playoffs and maybe take a run at the Stanley Cup. And who better to make to lead that charge than the person that's meant to be their franchise player for the next 10, 15, 20 years? So if Conor McDavid is going to be that guy, he needs the captaincy at some point. Some people might argue it's a little bit too early, and, and I respect that opinion. I think, yeah, maybe it is a little bit too early. But they've got to do something in Edmonton. They've been getting first overall picks God knows how many times recently. And they haven't been doing anything. They, they haven't been making it work. So they're hoping that this change with McDavid will make the team work. Now, the real questions that hold up for this, this decision to put Conor McDavid as the captain. I mean, all of his teammates say he should be the captain. They say he's a perfect choice. He's a leader on and off the ice. Now, the real questions are, how will McDavid hold up as the captain of the, of the Edmonton Oilers? Will he flop under the pressure? Most of the stats and most of the uh, players and fans will say, no, he won't crack under the pressure. But that's still a question. I know I'm playing devil's advocate here like media and things like to do. But will he flop under the pressure? I think it's a genuine question. Will there be a problem with Conor McDavid wearing the C? Will he become so consumed by wearing the C that his production starts to drop and he starts to become very inward? However, you could say, will he thrive as the leader of the Edmonton Oilers? Will he lead the charge for the Edmonton Oilers back to the playoffs? Will he be the catalyst to make this team a much stronger force in the NHL than they've been for the last 10 years or God knows how long? So I think you could look at it as a devil's advocate way or he might flop. But you could look at it as, as the glass half full kind of guy. Will he thrive? He might thrive. He might do really well. So I think this is a very interesting story. I, I personally think he's deserving of the captaincy. I mean... 48 points in 45 games last year. He went over a point per game and missed two months with a fractured collarbone. Like, you, you, can't, you can't ask more of a player that's had two months out on his rookie year. Like, that must have bummed him out really bad. But he knows how to take it like a champ. He knows how to, how to be uh, respectful, how to be uh, mature. He knows what he's doing. And I think the Oilers made the perfect choice in the captaincy. Because I don't think there's anybody else on that team that I could see as the new captain of the Edmonton Oilers. So yes, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.